Hello, welcome back to Scale Modeling Cafe. Welcome to another sprue tour slash review. I say sprue tour, that's the kind of title of the series and the, um, oh cool, playlist. That's the word I was looking for. But you can't really call it a sprue for this thing because this is a 3D printed resin conversion set from laminar flow design. So it's not injection molded, so it's not on a sprue. Laminar Flow Design is a relatively new company out of Belgium. The proprietor is uh, a chap called Matthew, and he's an extremely talented bloke. He, um, a few months ago, he came out with the Mark 14 conversion for the Tamiya Spitfire in 30 second scale, and it sold out within about half an hour, the initial production run. He then did the second production run, and I was lucky enough to, to bag one of the Razorback Mark 14 conversion sets. So I was very excited about that. He then produced a cockpit detail set, which I also bought one of those. Um, but as Matthew's skills and experience has um, progressed, he actually tweaked the Mark 14 conversion. And he did send me uh, one of those sets. With that... He's also sent me this, which is the Mark 12 set. So full disclosure, I didn't pay for this one. I didn't even ask for it. It just arrived in the post. So Matthew, thank you very, very much. That's extremely uh, generous of you. Um, the Mark 12 then is quite a good subject if you fancy doing one of these conversions and you perhaps... Um, are maybe uh, less experienced or um, you don't want to, uh, well, you want the Mark 12, obviously, or you don't want to go the full hog and do the Mark 14, which is going to be more involved. Maybe this is the one for you. Um, I'm sure we all know that the Mark 12 is essentially a Spitfire Mark 5 with a Griffin engine uh, or Griffin engine bolted onto the front. So it's the short nose version. And um, this conversion, the whole nose bit is going to be really easy because you literally are going to stick the new nose and spinner on job done um the slight complication is going to be underneath with the radiator and the oil cooler because like i say it's a mark 5 uh, essentially underneath so you've got to convert that mark 9 uh, or 8 into the mark 5 so the oil cooler needs to be changed out but we'll see how that's done um, when we pop over to the bench um so let's go and do that right away i'll see you in a tick over there Right, here's the box. Um, brilliant, nice and sturdy corrugated box with a really nice drawing on the side with the conversion parts shaded out, which is uh, brilliant. It says here 32 resin parts, six masking sheets for two paint schemes, plus some assembly instructions. So, so it is for the Mark 8 or the Mark 9. I, as I said before, I do suggest the Mark 9. Um, because the Mark 8's got the retractable tail wheel, so that's going to be a bit of a pain, I think. So, opening the box, and I've not looked in here yet, you get the instruction sheet, and, oh, crumbs, look at that. Right, so not tightly packed like last time, but it's in this kind of little shield thing. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. So, two cages, we'll just put those to one side, whilst we have a look in here. So, straight away, here's the masks for spraying, which is going to save me a big job. And what I really like about this is how Matthew has cut the edge of the mask round panel lines and things, and then we did it out for you. So you know exactly where to place them. That is absolutely genius. And it's the same here. It's not weeded here because you might want to use the, um, the sort of female part. But, you know, for example, if I just put this up to the camera, you can see the edges there. And this is the serial. And it's around the panel lines. So that is utterly genius. Okay, um, there's some 
gouge at the top here with working for with 3D printed parts. I really, really suggest you read this and study it because it tells you how to minimize any damage to the actual parts. Because like I say, it is resin and it is brittle. So just some pictures here on how to remove the parts. Um, just some advice on some of the uh, specific parts here and how best to remove them. And this is really nice, telling you where the fragile areas are. So, you know, you're going to take care anyway, but take extra care. You can't even see that. There we go. Uh, <laughs> you can take extra care around these parts. So that is a really nice touch. Some advice on how to sand some of the bits, get rid of some of the excess. Right, this is the most um, difficult bit, I would say, is cutting out the large radiator so you can replace it with the um, conversion parts. So actually, this is the Mark 12 conversion and this is the Mark 5 type oil cooler. So I believe this is available as a separate part, which is a nice touch. And there you go. So you just remove it along this panel line. So one cut along this panel line and just that little bit there at the front. And you can see there you've got the, um, the gun panel and you just replace it. Bit of super glue, in you go. And then by putting this in, that's going to strengthen all this area. And I recommend you put the, um, I'm assuming that's a cannon panel or something. Put that in nice and early, make it sturdy. The rest of it is really straightforward, actually. So back to the Mark 12 conversion itself. Uh, multiple spinner parts, got a couple of scoops that you need to put on. Uh, exhausts are separate and it literally just plugs in to the kit parts you see you've got these pins here that go into the holes in the bulkhead so that's really nice and then comprehensive markings um, quite limited really because the mark 12 was uh, wasn't flown for all that long and uh, only a couple of squadrons had it so uh, one from 41 Squadron, one from 91 Squadron. Standard um, daytime camouflage. Little bit of uh, emblem just below the windscreen on this one. And then a, um, a name, Maria or something, on this one. So this is Squadron Leader Ray Harris. Scored the first two victories, 91 Squadron. And then Flying Officer Raymond Nash later scored two more kills with this aeroplane. Uh, this one, uh, 41 Squadron. This aeroplane was part of the famous 41 Squadron 7 Spitfire photo shoot in April 1944. There you go. Clip wings, obviously, for um, the Mark 12. And uh, nice uh, instructions here on where to put your masks. Let's have a look at the parts themselves. So you can see how they come in this cage. So I'd imagine what it says to do is get a razor saw and cut the four corners and then you could probably just snip the cage, the rest of the cage out. Maybe you wanna use a saw on, uh, on the logo bit there. But in this part, you've got the spinner, uh, the back plate, oil cooler things here, oil cooler parts. This is obviously that replacement panel for the wing. And then separate hollow exhausts. Now what I'm going to try and do, if I can just manoeuvre my light here, is you can see how fine that mesh is there. Look how fine that mesh is. There we go. Come on camera, there you are. That is just phenomenal. And same for the front of the oil cooler as well. It's 
Sorry, I got the camera in a funny position. Absolutely stunning. So in this cage, propeller blades, one, two, three, four, five propeller blades. So you've got a spare. There's some spinner gubbins going on down the bottom, but the nose piece itself, you can see here how it's molded with these pins that just slot into the firewall on the kit. All the lumps and bumps. And if I can, I, I can maneuver it around, just have a look at that fastener detail and rivet detail. Just beautiful. There at the back, you can see the opening for the separate scoop. So that's going to give that hollow look. That is just amazing. There we are. Beautifully printed, beautifully um, presented. Comprehensive instructions. What? Oh, I don't know what else he could do. It's just phenomenal. Right. Let's go back and have a chat, shall we? Okay, there we are. That is the Laminar Flow Design Mark 12 conversion set. I think you'll agree, it's absolutely beautiful. A little bit tricky to see um, behind the cages uh, on the camera, but uh, yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful conversion set. And it's really got my juices flowing. Now I am gonna do the Mark 14 first, and I'm going to be starting that really quite soon as I film this. Got one or two things to um, to do first. And then I'm going to crack on with that. It's going to be a very involved project. But I'm really, really looking forward to it. Because the actual conversion um, itself is just bloody brilliant, frankly. Uh, and it's going to be a stunning model. So there we are. Um, I'm going to stop the waffling right there. And I'm going to go and film a couple more sprue tours right now. So thanks very much for watching. Look out for those and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.